Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, Capricorns. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well. I hope you've been taking care of yourself, all right? Definitely taking in more water, eating more fruits and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful temple as it take care of you, Capricorns. Welcome back, my loves. We're back checking in another three days here, Capricorns. We're going to see what messages, source, your angels, your ancestors have for you, all right, when it comes to your love life, okay? So come on in, my loves. Again, I hope all has been well, all right? The readings here today may resonate for sun moon rising venus north and south note placements i show and cross watchers welcome back my loves you are welcome here as well i say all right so let's tap into your higher self my loves again thank you all for your love and support shout out to the evolving spirit shout out to the soul tribe thank you for your comments your likes your shares all right thank you for the support definitely if you would love to become a evolving spirit like i myself and the soul tribe team here hit that join membership tab and become a evolving spirit like i myself it gets you discounts on your love readings it gets you discounts on email questions and love live stream questions when i go live my loves all right Delphi. if you're new here click that notification bell my loves so that way you are notified but when i do post your readings here on this platform every three days i shape all right so let's move forward capricorns let's see who's coming towards you in regards to your love life here source angels ancestors protect my space and aura as i channel the messages for the wise ones here as i channel the messages for the god and goddesses what do we have for the divine masculine, the divine feminine? What do we have for the earth element source? What are their higher selves needs to know here within the next three days for the month of March here source? What do we have for Cappies? What do we have for the Capricorns? What do we have for the earth element source? What do we have for the earth elements? What are their higher selves needs to know during this time? Thank you. What do we have at the bottom of the deck that we don't see coming? Wow, reconcile. Mm, someone's coming back, my loves. We have someone from your past, Capricorns, is returning to your life, okay? Rather, this is someone from your past year or someone from your past life because you two simply have evolved. So this person is coming back into your life, okay? Some of you all have already met this person. Some of you all, this person, you don't have any clue, but you're going to meet them during this lifetime, I say this is again what you don't see coming. So for some of you all within the next three days here or the month of March, you're going to be meeting this person here for the first time during this lifetime. I say, yes, I'm not making this up. All right. We have the soulmate energy here. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's confirmation for you. There is no accidents. There is no coincidences on how you clicked on this video capricorns okay so again some of you all you're about to meet your soulmate here my loves wow congratulations get ready my loves are you ready all right then we have let go of control issues now cappies we talked about this in your previous reading here okay don't forget go check out your last reading here from the last three days to the ones that are new here i will make sure to post it in the reading during and out through the reading here and at the end of the reading i will post a video for you as well definitely go check that out okay so you want to make sure to let go of any control issues okay when it comes to you meeting this soulmate energy that you're going to be walking into all right it says allow the situation to unfold naturally okay in regards to whatever has happened or transpired in your past okay allow that shit to transpire on its own allow everything to unfold everything will be shown what needs to be shown in regards to this relationship in regards to this person from your past okay so don't try to control the situation i know how determined you all are and i know how you all love to control your own life and situation yes i get it but some things need to be unfold naturally so you can see the truth and what it is you're trying to seek in and find the truth for for some of you all not for all of you okay that's not always the best way to go about things when you're trying to have your hands on things and control things sometimes it's good to just go with nature go with the flow 
Ashe. All right. So let's move forward here. Wow. Yes, we have codependency because there is someone around you that's very codependent on your energy. And this is why your angels and your ancestors wanting you to allow things to unfold so you can see this person's true intentions here and what they're doing to you behind scenes for whoever this is resonating for. There is someone in your energy. This could be family members that has been codependent on you, Capricorns, because you are a very hard worker. You get the fucking job done. You're very determined. I tell you guys this all the time. This is what I love about your energy and your element and how you show yourselves here in the 3D realm. And people love that about you so much that they are trying to take advantage of it and codepend on you for every fucking thing. Meaning your time, your energy, your finances, okay? Because they feel like that, oh, I know Capricorn to do it. Oh, I know Capricorn to do it for me. I ain't got to get up off my ass. I know Capricorn to do it. That's the energy that I'm picking up is why spirit and your angels is wanting you to follow your higher self. Use your discernment as well, okay? Because I feel like because some of you all have removed yourself from this particular person and this particular energy here that this person is kind of upset, okay? And they are used to codependent on you. Some of y'all, this person may have codependent on you for so fucking long. And now that you have removed yourself from this person's energy and you're meeting someone new here, okay? This person is a little bit upset, I fear, here as well. And others of you, because you are so used to controlling the situation with this person from your past, we can even be speaking of a spouse here or someone that you were previously in a relationship here or a significant other here, okay? And this person here is so dependent on you in so many ways that it's ridiculous here okay wow let's move forward let's now pull out the tarot card let's see what source angels and your ancestors have to say in regards to the tarot deck here source angels ancestors what do we have for capricorn placements here definitely my loves if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self don't forget to big, hit that big fat thumbs up okay show spirit some love all right definitely again if you're new here subscribe my loves be a part of family this is where we love and we simply evolve each and every day all right we're here to lift each other up not tear each other down i shame all right and definitely again don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you are aware when i post your reading here the next three days i'm so excited to see where the energies here progress for you capricorns due to this situation here because like i said you definitely have someone returning from your past you definitely are meeting your soulmate for some of you all as well here within the next three days okay so i'm so excited to see where the energies here progress okay wow 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 we have several cards that immediately jumped out here for you first card jumped out was death card here okay some of y'all this person could be a scorpio here at capricorns okay this person is wanting you to know that they have changed, okay? This person that's coming towards you, like I said, they could be a Scorpio here. They are no longer doing things or whatever type of addictions I feel as well that this person may have had here. Like I said, this is someone that's coming from your past. And I feel like as you, as you have evolved here, Capricorns, this person has evolved as well. All right, that's for some of you all. And some of you all, vice versa, you have evolved. All right, you have removed yourself, like I said, from this particular energy here that has been very codependent on you. I feel like for some of you all for years, when it has come to this relationship, this person depended on you for everything. To pay for their food, to buy them something to eat, to pay the bills, to clean up, to do all this, okay? This could have been even a feminine energy if I'm speaking with the divine masculine here. And this person has always depended on you to do everything, okay? Wow, and you are switching that shit up and you are changing that shit around, okay? What else came out here for you? Yes, we have the King of Pentacles. Here you are, Capricorn, all right? You are in this energy of, you know, taking back control of your life. OK, and this is what this person loved about you because you knew how to take things in control. You knew how to control situations. And I feel like this person went a little bit too far with it and kind of drained your energy to a point where you're like, look here, I'm about to let go of this situation. All right. And this is why your ancestors as well is telling you to let go of this situation here. OK, and because of this, this is what allowed you to transform and to become a better version of yourself. So you also have learned a spiritual lesson here. Yes, this is why we have the seven of ones coming out here. Some of you are this person could be a fire sign here. 
We have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries here, okay? But you're defending yourself. You're no longer letting people, places, and motherfucking situations here try to take over you and tell you what the fuck to do. And you the one that been manifesting this or even, you know, doing and putting in the work. Okay, and because you're no longer putting in the work over here with these family members, with these loved ones, with this particular person, this spouse, a significant other, they're upset. Okay, because you're not the same person anymore, I feel, for some of you all as well, Capricorn. You have changed. Like I said, you have evolved. All right, and this person is trying to figure that out. And so you're trying to let them know, look, I ain't got time for this. If I got to pull my wand out and get up on that ass, I will. Because you're now making sure to set healthy boundaries because this person did so many things that, you know, drained your energy here because they depended on you so much, Capricorns, that you had to let that shit go. All right, that's what's up. Shout out to the Caps. We ain't got time for that. Yes, and this is why your angels at the bottom of the deck here is saying it's worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life. So for some of you all, do not give up on your love life. Yes, you may have picked a couple bad apples, but it was a reason for you to pick them damn bad apples so you can see yourself, learn who you are, and fucking learn your worth. And I bet you know your worth now, okay? Moving forward, what else here do we have for the sexy-ass Capricorns in regards to this situation here, Source? Thank you for the messages here so far. What else does Capricorns need to know in regards to their love life here for the next three days, Source, Angels, Ancestors? Let's get some clarification here. I want to clarify the death card. What has changed in regards to this situation here, Source? Clarify the death card. For Virgo, ooh, Virgo. Some of y'all, this person may be a Virgo here. We do have the King of Pentacles here. Like I said, some of y'all, this person could be a fellow Earth element as yourself here. We have, again, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus here. All right, for some of you all, or this person could be a Scorpio. Or we have fire energy as well. All right, anyone can embody the energies on the card. So again, just take it where it resonates, my love, okay? What else, Source? What else do we have here? Clarify the death card for... Capricorn in this situation source. Why do we have the death card here for Capricorn? Thank you. Wow. We have the Queen of Pentacles jump out here. Like I said, this person may have earth elements in their chart as well here or just harness in this energy because they're in the earth element. All right. Like I said, some of y'all, this could have been the mother of your child here. All right. Some of y'all, this is you. All right. And like I said, you have changed. You're no longer on this fuckery bullshit. OK. And some of you all, like I said, you're going to be meeting your counterpart here. All right. You're going to be meeting this person that you're reconciling with this person that you met in your past life. For some of you all that haven't even met this person yet. And because you both, like I said, you both have evolved. Look at you. Like I said, some of y'all may not even met this person yet because you're you're facing opposite directions here. OK, and now you're trying to get to understand like, damn, this person is completing my sentences. Damn, this person feels so familiar. Damn, this person had went through the same shit and dealt with the same shit that I dealt with over here with people, places and situation. Yes, that's because this is your soulmate. OK. Wow. I'm going to set both of those counterparts right here. You two are a counterpart here coming out and you both have evolved. Beautiful Capricorns. I love it. I absolutely love it. Why do we have the Seven of Swords here? Let's finish up your reading here. Why do we have the Seven? Ooh, I said the Seven of Swords. I wanted to say the Seven of Wands. So someone here lied to you. They stabbed you in your back. They betrayed you. And this makes all sense of why this energy that you're in is coming out. Why do we have the Seven of Wands? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South. No, why do we have the, whoa. What jumped out here? We have the Sun card, Leo energy coming out here. Some of y'all, this person was a Leo here. I feel like whatever happened in regards to this situation here, it has been exposed as well here. You found out some news here. You found out something about these people here that have portrayed you. Because I did, like I said, you heard it as well being channeled out, the Seven of Swords. Somebody has been exposed here and somebody's trying to come back to you because they want a new beginning with you. But you already know what's up. You stopping that shit at the dope. Okay. Wow. What else came out here, Source? 
Then we have the Knight of Swords. Like I said, some of you are this person is going to be coming in very unexpectedly. And you're not even going to be aware of this because I feel like some of you all, this person energetically feels that you have removed yourself from their energy. This past lover here, this significant other here, and they're not happy with that is why they're coming in and rushing in. All right. And it's why you're having to be so defensive. You're going to stop their asses at the door before they even get to the door. Okay. You're going to be out in the motherfucking park a lot. Where are you going? This is that type of energy. Fuck it up, Capricorns. I love y'all asses. What's the last card here? Yes, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone that you were in a relationship with. Some of y'all had kids by this person. Some of y'all was married to this person here. All right? This person wants some of those pentacles, honey. Like I said, and they were so codependent on you. And because you decide, you're like, look, I don't have to be here. I'm not fucking happy here. All right? And this person, like I said, they're upset. All right? So be mindful of this energy. You are spiritually protected, but you want to make sure to be spiritually aware as well. All right? What's at the bottom of the deck here? Yes. The hard fun. Like I said, some of y'all, this was a marriage. Some of y'all, this was a committed relationship here that you was with this particular person with that you made vows with. And this person disowned those vows. They fucked up. All right? And they're realizing that is why they're trying to rush back in here all quick and fast. Right? This was a spiritual lesson, like I said, that you had to learn. And don't, um, you know, don't have hate towards this person. If anything, congratulate this person for what they did. Because now, guess what? They allowed you to become a better version of yourself. And now you have a soulmate coming in that's going to meet you energetically with your soul. A spiritual connection. Thank you, Source. All right? So let this other shit go. It's not worth it. You know your value now. You appreciate this person. Forgive yourself and forgive this person, okay? Because this bad apple done turned you to a whole nother being. All right. You're successful now. You're wealthy. You're healthy. You're full of abundance. Ashe. All right. Wow. Let's finish up. I'm going to pull an angel or a deck here to finish up your reading. Again, if the reading resonated with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. All right. Hit that notification bell. And if you would love to book a personal reading with me, again, all that information is down below in the description box. I do now offer email questions. You can email me a question in regards to the spread here today, or you can email me if you have a question in regards to your love life, Capricorns, and I will send a picture of a full spread like I'm doing here today. I will send it through email and give you full details in regards to your question, my loves, okay? And like I said, if you become an evolving spirit like I myself and join the soul tribe, you get a discount on your email readings, your personal readings, and also your love live stream questions when I go live as well, I say, all right, so let's finish up here, source angels and sisters, what can we take away from this beautiful reading here for Capricorns, what are their higher self need to be aware of for the next three days here in the month of March, what do we have here for the Caps, thank you, we have two cards jumped out, we have the page of fire, aka the page of wands, okay, it talks about outgoing, all right, creative, having confident Capricorns, okay? News of an exciting new adventure. Wow, you get ready, Capricorns, okay? And this is definitely in regards to this soulmate energy here that's eyeing you over here and that you two can't keep your hands off of each other. I'm just saying, Caps, all right? It says, use your originality and integrity, okay? Wow, beautiful. All right. So like I said, this person is very attracted to you as well here. This person that you're recognizing, that's your soulmate. Be patient with yourself again. It's worth the wait. Your angels is definitely watching you. Like I said, you are protected, but you want to make sure that you're meeting your angels in the 5D realm. OK, meet them halfway. Do the work that you need to do here in the 3D realm so you can meet your angels and your ancestors halfway here in the 5D. OK. And then we have the Eight of Air. This is the Eight of Swords in the traditional tarot deck, okay? This talks about an illusion of being trapped, okay? You're not trapped, Capricorns, okay? This person tried to trap you, all right? This person tried to trap you because they tried to codepend on you and tell you, no, Capricorn, you have to do this. No, you got to do this. You ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. But live your life and learn these lessons and move the fuck forward, period, okay? And like I said, you already know that. Is why you having to put your foot down. All right. It says um, finishing up a lack of self-confidence, afraid 
to take action. Now, do not be afraid to take action. All right, Capricorns, you do what you have to do. But I honestly feel that this is more of this other energy that was surrounding themselves in your energy. This person from your past, for some of you all, this person that you recently got out of a relationship with here, found a divorce here with for some of you all here. Okay, because like I said, this is why they're rushing back in. Because they found out for some of you all that you moved forward and you done met someone new. And others of you, they found out that you, hell, you filed them motherfucking divorce papers. Period. All right? And they're still guilty. They have regrets here. Because I really honestly do not feel that this is your energy here with the eight of air. I feel like this is still their energy because you're having to defend yourself in this reading here today. Okay? Wow, beautiful. You are well deserving of love like anyone else. And you're definitely going to get it. All right. Wow. Beautiful Capricorns. This has finished your reading here for the next three days. Again, definitely if you're new here, collect that. I mean, collect. Okay. Some of y'all need to collect. Okay. Collect what's yours, Capricorns. Okay. I wanted to say select that notification bell so that way you could be aware when I do post your reading here the next three days. I'm definitely excited to see where the energies here progress for you. Congratulations, Capricorn. You are deserving of true love and you're definitely going to fucking get it because you've been through hell and hot water and now it's your time to shine, honey. I love you, Capricorns. You take care of yourself. Your health is your wealth. Ashe. Mwah. Namaste. Bye-bye.